Well, after months and months of speculation and rumors, David Cornsweet has officially been casted as the next DCU Superman. <laughs> things that's been going on for quite a while and i remember seeing videos like years back fan casting him as the character and usually i'm not the biggest fan of fan castings as like 90 percent of them are just complete garbage what the fuck is this piece of shit but there's a few in here and there that are actually well done and this is one of them that actually came to life so yeah good, good job internet you're, you're a rare w for once and you know from what i've seen him in in other certain projects like pearl or hollywood you can't really go wrong with this bro has the look and you know i know looks aren't really the de facto element in like comic book casting but for a character like superman like you kind of need that like physique or that like facial feature because this is like your poster boy for the next like decade for your new universe like I i'm sorry nicholas holt you know i i mess with you and all that but you you're just not the right pick bro and it wouldn't be a superhero comic book casting without some sort of backlash or slight hesitation from certain other fans especially in such a unique case as a transition from the dceu to the dcu you know you got rid of henry cavill because you wanted to reboot Obviously, people are going to be mad at that. And the one prominent complaint I've seen from other people is that he looks too similar to Cavill. Or it's like, oh, it's like a bootleg version of Cavill. You see those memes where it's like the official brand and like the off-brand version. I mean, okay, I'm not going to lie. Some of those are actually kind of funny. But if you are genuinely upset or if it bothers you that they casted an actor who resembles Henry Cavill to some degree to play Superman, I'm sorry, but you are unironically genuinely an idiot. I'm sorry. You're stupid. You're, you're stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, he looks too similar to cavill yeah no sh like should we not cast actors who look like superman like what 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 do you want about just calling my name maybe the well, conscience right yeah. the shadow yeah who looks like uh superman don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Now, like, I understand the frustration and the anger with Henry Cavill's departure as Superman. Hell, I, I was kind of frustrated too when I first heard it. But it's like the reason why it doesn't, you know, piss me off to like an nth degree is because it's a reboot. Like if they had kept Ben Affleck and Ezra Miller, but got rid of Cavill, I would have been flame. I would have been infuriated like those, those other Snyder heads out there. But for what it seems like, it seems like a lot majority of the Justice League the act, previous actors at DCU are gone. Out with the old and in with the new. Which is exactly what the DC universe needs. No, it likes too, looks too much like Henry Cavill. I mean, y'all piss me off sometimes, bro. Y'all stupid as hell. And it's even funny because you look at an interview from all the way like 2019. He's expressed his enthusiasm and dream role to be casted as the role of Superman. And we also can't forget about the fact of Rachel Brosnahan being casted as Lois Lane, which I have no issues with. I know a lot of people wanted Emma Mackey. Like, you know, that was initially stated for the in-screen tests for like auditions. Uh, like one of the pairs is like David Cornswain and Emma Mackey. But personally, I have no issues with this. I don't really know too much about what she's been in a lot of people mentioned like the her lead role in the marvelous mrs Maisel, like that amazon prime television series and it just makes sense to cast within that age range from like mid to late 20s early 30s specifically for like longevity sake like if you're trying to have this new universe go on for a while obviously you're gonna want actors who aren't like 50 now which is a prominent reason as to why i don't think jensen Ackles will be casted as batman because right now he's 45 so even if they were to cast him right now they wouldn't start shooting until he's like late 40s early 50s not too far off from ben affleck's age so yeah that sorry to burst your bubble for people who want to fan cast him is that it ain't happening what the fuck did you say fun fact both david cornswin and christopher reeve study at the juilliard school which is a private performing arts conservatory in new york stated as one of the top colleges in the new york city area along with the best visual and performing arts bachelor's degrees that it offers for certain actors cornswin currently stands at six foot four which is actually the same height funny enough as christopher reeve and supposedly they're starting to start shooting january 2024 so you know that bulk is about to be immaculate i'm honestly more curious on the direction of the suit that they're gonna go like are they gonna go more of like a modern route trunks no trunks light blue hopefully because they you know i don't want like some like muted color dark blue like you go go full bright with it especially if you're gonna go with a more hopeful tone for superman to differentiate from like cavill's design i personally don't really care for chunks if they're in it cool if not oh well like it doesn't necessity for me next waves and castings are gonna definitely be lex luthor and then obviously characters like jimmy olsen and then some uh characters of the authority that are going to appear in the film i'm also hoping they do some sort of suit reveal like they did for the batman because if they don't it's going to get leaked through like set photos if they ever film outside so yeah get on that